Well, being a weird eye side, you know, we just waste some of our items we have, because let's face it, we have a paralyzed heal, we got a super potion, we should probably just use them. Um, because otherwise I'll be hoarding them till the very end of the game and have to, you know, stuff them in the box at some point, because I'll run out of space. Potentially. Um, and I don't need that many power points to conquer this route. I, mean, I suppose if we used Gus, maybe we'd be in a bit more need. And Bellsprout, yep, just uh, stick to our special attack strat here. Like, we don't even need another button. Just, like, just keep pressing the same button. Like, it's gonna work. It's just that easy. And we're gonna be just a bit shy of level 32. Come on, just blast it. Yep, and Bellsprout goes down. My biggest worry is we're gonna get caught by a certain hiker, though. I mean, I still want this TM, but still, you know, it's it's risky to snag this, because we gotta walk in front of that one hiker now, effectively. Open, yeah. Aerial Ace. A lot of Pokemon can learn Aerial Ace, it's a bit weird. Like, even Paris can learn Aerial Ace. It's insane. Oh yeah, I got improved the base 40 power, I forgot. Okay. Well, time to move out. Damn it! It's like he's always waiting for you, you know? That's fine, you know, we'll, we'll just deal with it. After all, this Machop's not very scary. Like, just go straight for the Confusion Death if it means Machop. How, how much damage could it really do if it hit us anyway? Assuming it doesn't have a cheat moveset, you know, where it has Rock Slide. Sleep Powder. Though, I mean, it is kind of disappointing you can't get Rock Slide from that one girl anymore. You gotta pick it up while inside the uh, Rock Tunnel now. Ah, Screech. And it failed, huh? Well, let's thief it. It's almost dead. Might as well finish it off with, you know, a weaker move. And level 32 we are. Okay. A couple more levels and we'll have access to Psybeam. Of course, by the time we get access to it, it'll almost be time for us to go grab Psychic, too. <sighs> Though I'm guessing I will hit level 34 before we even get out of Rock Tunnel. Ugh. So high level. Okay, I guess since we have it, we might as well use it. Aerial Ace. I mean, we could have went for something else, but, you know, at least that had, you know, super effective damage going for it. Sort of like we'll go for Confusion here, because, you know, it's also super effective. And it plays into our strength there. And finally, but not least, comes the Venonat. Which also knows uh, psychic moves, but, you know, isn't going to get a chance to pull them off here. Okay, we beat Connor, alright. Well, let's just avoid this hiker. And you, because, you know, I really don't want levels right now. Damn, I thought this was going to take a bit longer. That's fine. I suppose it's because we turned off animations, therefore all the fights are going much faster. <laughs> I doubt we're saving that many seconds by not having to worry about switching every time. Though I suppose it does add up. Okay. Time to run through the uh, annoyingly dark cave. Hopefully I don't confuse myself. Okay, got ourselves into a wild Pokemon battle, because I didn't grab any repels, so there's no way for me really to avoid these. I probably should have bought more when I had the chance, but that's fine. Seriously? Ready, go? What, you think this is a cave fight? Okay, let's make this Cubone cry, I guess. 
pretty sure we can sleep it. Kind of forget what Cubone's ability is right now. Still sleeping. Uh, I don't have a grass move. If only we had Giga Drain. That probably will end up on the move set at some point. Yeah, I don't think this thing has uh, the ability to dodge this. And go for Thief. One more hit. Oh, it woke up. Damn. And went for Tackle. Okay. That was disappointing. I just thought I'd try and do something more meaningful. I overestimated it. Okay, then run up this wall. Then run down here, then run across. Ah, it's a giant rock snake. Really don't need a giant rock snake. Honestly, I imagine getting through this generation with Onyx would be an absolute nightmare. Just because, you know, that four times weakness of water and grass types would be really hellish to deal with. Okay, go for Sleep Powder. While it naps, uh, Thief it. Come on. Still napping. Okay, time to finish it off with another Thief. Sure, we could have used Aerial Ace. But I would rather use Thief. You know, I'm showing a little respect there. By hitting you with something that's, you know, effective. <laughs> Darn it. I forgot. We gotta go a bit further before we can turn off. Eh, we could probably one-shot this thing with confusion, but that'd be wasting power points we don't have. Ugh. Please don't waste your time battling me. I have better things to do, man. Well, I think we'll just go straight for the kill. Yeah, I thought so. That Those ten levels do mean a lot here. And we're inching ever closer to the, the option to use side beam. Okay, hopefully don't wake up, because I assume this is going to take at least two hits. I mean, it is Bulbasaur. Okay, never mind. We're just way too strong for these guys. We got to go up another level for Psy Beam, if I remember correctly. Okay. Eh, of course, another wild Pokemon's got to try and slow me down. Just get away, will you? Well, might as well fight the Pokemaniac. Uh, yeah, because I've seen a couple of you guys in here. Not that's particularly good cosplay, because where's your wings? Where are they? Like, like they magically disappear. Go for confusion. Still didn't get the kill. Aerial Ace. I mean, we got 20 points on. We might as well use it to get some kills. Sleep it. Though I have to admit, I'm more terrified of the rocks coming up. Because let's face it, you know, they are the big nightmare to worry about. Because they can potentially blow themselves up. And let's face it, we have... A Butterfree. It's not going to take very well to having Pokemon self-destruct on it. Come on, two steps. After the last fight. Like, spare me, Geodude. I think they would have got scared off, to be honest. Ugh. Yeah, this Geodude's like, I really want you to catch me, though. I want to go in a ball and get out of this cave. Okay. Will they, though? I mean, that's a lot to promise, and I've usually been disappointed by that stuff. 
Well, Prince, let's go for sleep. Yep. Just gotta go for sleep, then try and tear it apart while it's napping. Ah, I woke up. Crap. Oh, it went for magnitude? You fool! That's not gonna work on Butterfree. That was just a wasted move. Like, he should have went for Rock Throw. That would have been fear of my life. Because if that had connected, it would have been over, man. Like, you don't underestimate the power of Rock Throw. When you're a bug flying type, like, you'll just get crushed. Okay, we gotta go this way, yeah. I'm thinking of a different room. Though we are the bulk of the way through, I suppose. Yep, here comes another challenger. But it's either this one or the other one, you know, there's just no choice. It's just easier to sneak in if we go this way. Though the fact he has, uh... Four Geodudes does suck, but... Considering how they're level 19, we almost have the 25 one. Maybe we can one-shot these guys. Okay, that doesn't help me know if that's actually accurate or not. Okay, let's try this again. Can I one-shot? Yep. No point in wasting turns on sleep, then. And out comes another one. And just down it goes. Gotta save those, uh... Other attacks for later. Oh, come on. Just a little bit more and we can use a uh, Psy Beam. That'll make those uh, the Graveler much easier. I really need it. It may be worthwhile to pick another fight. Just for that access to that move. Okay. Yes, yeah, need to show me some respect. The problem is you're not respectable, man. But, uh, we may not be able to do that one. Not with, uh, confusion. Oh, one of the rare misses. Okay, going for defense curl. Okay, that worked in my favor. We're not gonna miss twice. I mean, I knew we were gonna have to miss at some point. I mean, 2.5 miss chance, you know, doesn't mean we won't miss at some point. At least it was not a dangerous Pokemon. Like this Graveler. Okay. Confuse it. Continues the nap. And confuse it again. Because we should level up for Psybeam at this point. If I remember correctly. Yep. Um, yeah, definitely want to make room for Psybeam. We'll chuck Confusion. I don't need two Psychic moves, after all. Because Thief does serve a purpose on this team, still. As a way to helpfully deal with uh, psy Psychic types. So, I'm keeping it for now. Come on. Well, that'll do for this episode, to be honest. We'll finish up the rest of this next time. This is starting to go a bit long. Plus, you know, I want to save, because the more most annoying fight's coming up, you know, with the, the self-destructing hiker. Though I don't know remember if he even knows self-destruct anymore. Because I don't think we really see him use it, do we? Eh. Whatever. Till next time, then.